do a protein treatment and a deep condition. Um, I realized that I found this this same, uh, I won't call it a tutorial, just what I do to my hair video. I filmed this a long time ago, a couple years ago, I think, and the quality was horrible. So I want to redo it and show you what I do exactly. Um, I am going, usually I do a hot oil treatment and, a, a, like, then do a deep condition, I mean, then do my protein treatment, then do a deep condition. But this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to wash my hair. I have the Cantu Shea Butter. Um, I've been using this for a good month. Once this is gone, I don't know if I'm going to go back to this or not. But I use this when I'm about to straighten my hair. I'm about to straighten my hair. Um, so this is the Sulfate Free Hydrating uh cream shampoo and cream conditioner so i'm gonna wash my hair with these after that i am going to do the FLG um protein treatment look at that it's hair all over and everything um i'm gonna do the protein treatment and this is the balancing conditioner so i do use this and i, I leave it on for a good 35 minutes and then i rinse it out and then after that i go in with my um, deep conditioner Lately, I've been using the Shea Moisture um, Raw Shea Butter Deep Conditioning Treatment with sea kelp and argan oil for dry, damaged hair. I mixed in um, I mixed in some Aussie Minute Miracle Moist. I mixed in a little bit of this, and it also has. Hold on, let me find it. I'm not prepared, obviously. It also has some, um, this company is called The Good Stuff. Um, it also has some of the oil. Not this grease. I don't know what my, my oil is, but it has the oil in there. So I'm going to do this after I do my protein treatment. And then I put my bag on and I sit under the dryer for about 30 minutes. I'm going to show you guys the entire process. Um, everything except for me washing my hair. I mean, because I'm just washing my hair. So you don't really need to see that part. But I'm going to show you guys the entire process and um, yeah, I'll be back. Alright guys, so I just washed my hair. I don't know why I told you I was about to wash, shampoo and condition my hair when you don't condition your hair before the protein treatment. Um, what I didn't say was I went ahead and I just uh, put some grease on my scalp. This is the intense scalp treatment with sulfur, sulfur in it. So I went ahead and put this on my scalp and I put a little bit on my end um, and then I sat under the dryer for a minute and then shampooed my hair twice. Now I'm about to show you um, how I do my protein treatment. Now normally I have a spray bottle but it's a little easier to use with a spray bottle so Hold on, let me find that spray bottle. Okay, I can't find a, I can't find a, um, what is it called? What was I looking for? A spray bottle. So we're going to wing it. Now, normally I comb my hair out, I detangle my hair with conditioner in it, but I'm not ripping it, y'all, I swear I'm not. It's going like straight through. But in the parts that's not, I'm like slowly doing it. But... Since you don't put shampoo in your, I mean conditioner in your hair. You don't put conditioner in your hair before you do a protein treatment. I have to, I try to detangle it somewhat in the, uh, under the water. But that didn't really help, as you can see. And I normally have a wide tooth comb. Oh, I'm just not ready for this video today. But I gotta do this to my head. Because I gotta straighten my hair today okay so your hair needs to be wet when you go to put the protein treatment in right I promise y'all it might sound like I'm ripping my hair but I'm not I think it's just this brush because I'm not ripping my hair
section the way I feel like I should section. Again, your hair needs to be wet. Y'all, I'm so not prepared because I don't have a cape. I don't have clips. <sighs> oh my God. Okay, just gonna go over it again. Make sure that it is completely. Do y'all see that? Do you see where it is right now? Okay. So, you're gonna need a glove. Most definitely. You're gonna need a glove. Do I do it like this? Oh, we need two gloves. Let's just do it. Okay. So, what you want to do is take some hair. Usually I would start spraying it, spraying it all the way down, finger it out a little bit and leave it alone. Do not try to detangle your hair with this stuff in your hair, okay? Because you will break it completely off. This is pure protein and your hair is going to get super hard, okay? So we are going to just pour a little bit down I like to focus a lot on my ends I don't think I got enough in there by the way this stuff stinks really bad and I wear a I usually have on a um, cape but um, yeah I don't know where it is honestly I didn't look for it so I'm gonna do the other side to get stuff in here and rub it in. This stuff stinks guys so be mindful of that it does not smell good. Okay we're gonna move on to the next section. Be careful don't get it in your eyes. Um, when it touches your skin it, if you have an open sore or anything oh crap it's gonna burn. <laughs> Again, this is pure protein. I'm not even parting it like neatly. I just, I'm just trying to work fast because I don't want my hair to dry. My hair dries really, really fast. So I'm trying to work fast. I just spilled some on my floor. And everything gets really sticky. Be mindful of that. It gets really, really sticky. Oh, I think I had a sore in my head. to the uh, sit under dryer which I don't I like to do that because it dries the top of my hair really fast and then the ends of my hair is not dry so you don't want to manipulate your hair so I prefer I would prefer if this is like your first time doing this use a sit under dryer but if it's not I take a blow dryer this is just in case anybody's wondering it's the Paul Mitchell Pro, to Pro Tools Express Ion Turbo Light um, if I can find it, I'll link it below, but it's, it's a really good dryer. It's kind of heavy, but it's a good dryer. Um, so, I'm not, it's not plugged up. Um, if you're not used to doing this, I would not use this technique. I would sit under a dryer. But because I've, I've done this for a couple years now, but, <laughs> but 
I'm gonna fast forward through this part because of course it's gonna be loud, it's a dryer. show this part so I'm just gonna talk talk through it what you do is oh, something on my forehead okay what you do is run your hair under the water just let the water touch it let the water dissolve all of this product out of your hair once it's all ran through then you can take your fingers and just kind of rub run through it and clean it you are not shampooing it again what you're going to do is right after that, you're going to use the balancing moisturizer. Go in. I leave this in for a good three to five minutes, depending on how I feel. Today, probably be like three minutes. And then I'm going to go in with my deep condition. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'll be right back. Pray for me, because it's drunk. Ooh, child. All right. We got the... Uh, stuff washed out let's go ahead and comb out these curls i'll show y'all what they looking like make sure please make sure what y'all doing make sure to you deep condition after this because you, you you do use the balancing conditioner but a deep condition after this will just set it off okay so that's what my curls looking like right now And now I'm going to do a deep condition. I'm also going to speed through this because, I mean, ain't no point in me talking through it. I'll talk to y'all at the end. I like to make sure when I'm doing my deep condition that my shower cap is really on there so the heat can get in. Now I'm about to go sit. I have a sit under blow dryer, so now I'm about to go sit under the dryer for a good. I sit under there for a good. Um, I say 10, 15 minutes, and then when I come from under the dryer, I like to lock in that that heat. And I'll put a scarf on top of this. And then I'll keep it on another 15, 20 minutes. Uh, 
I can do other stuff. Now I'm gonna wash this out in the shower. Okay, y'all, so it is literally, like, I don't even know how to explain this, but it is 10 o'clock at night, and I had that deep conditioner. After I got from under the dryer and put my scarf on, I started cleaning up. I started, my daughter got a new toy. We started playing. I had that deep conditioner on for a good three, four hours. <laughs> And I kind of just forgot that it was up there. And then I went to get in the shower and I'm like, oh yeah, I gotta rinse my dang on here. I was like, oh yeah, I gotta finish the freaking video. Okay, so I literally just got out the shower. I have, but this is what my hair is looking like. As you can see, I have some highlighted pieces. So I really, really, really needed a deep conditioner and I needed that protein treatment. And I was supposed to straighten my hair. I said that in the beginning of the video, but. Um, as you can see, that didn't happen. So, I'm going to detangle my hair right now. Um, yeah. <sighs> Alright guys, that is it for this video. I'm not going to straighten my hair tonight. I got church in the morning. And, um, I just, I ain't going to move. So, we're going to go curly. And I'll straighten my hair probably tomorrow night in time for, you know, the week or whatever. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure you like and subscribe. Um, let me know if you want to see more videos like this. I know y'all used to my cleaning videos. But if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you uh, like the video. Also, comment below and let me know um, if you want to see more videos like this. Um, I guess that's it, guys. I'll catch you in my next video. Oh, yeah. Don't forget that um, I have a new upload schedule. And I'm trying really hard to stick to it. So it's Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. No set time right now. Um, because I have a lot going on, but I am trying to record, I'm trying to upload on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Alright guys, I'll catch you in the next video.